Uh, my name is Simon Goring. I am an uh, assistant research scientist at the University of Wisconsin in the Department of Geography. I think of myself as a global change scientist, um, an earth scientist, and I study ve rapid vegetation change and the ways in which climate and vegetation interact over centennial and millennial time scales um, using pollen as a proxy for vegetation change. Uh, I first got involved in EarthCube because of my involvement with the Neotoma Paleoecological Database. And I've been really interested in the way that data from different disciplines interacts with uh, data from other disciplines. And I think that EarthCube, to me, is really a way forward, not only to make more data discoverable, but to make data interoperable. And so, it's a really exciting group to be a part of, seeing these large data repositories interacting with individual domain scientists. And it's a, a great way to sort of leverage um, existing projects or projects that are in development, uh, bringing them into this umbrella and allowing people to interact with people who are seeing similar problems, but across a range of geoscience domains, I guess. And so I think that EarthCube has the opportunity to be really transformative, not only for my research, where I, I see a very clear need, but for other research across the Earth sciences. And I think one of the real issues is that when we think about the challenges that, we're f that, that are facing human society associated with global change, they're not going to be tackled by researchers in a single domain working with data from a single domain. They're going to be tackled by interdisciplinary groups working across scales, uh, both in time and space, and across data types. And so I feel really invested, not only as an, a researcher, but as a, as a human being uh, interested in the fate of humanity. So um, I think that there's a lot of reasons to want to be involved in EarthCube. And one of them is, uh, from a purely technical perspective, people may be interested uh, in, say, from a computer science domain, just interested in the tools that we're using, because these are fundamental questions in the computer sciences. How do we make data interoperable? How does data speak to data? Uh, for the geosciences, I think that people should get involved in EarthCube because ultimately, as your research program moves forward, you're going to start using more data and you're going to, it's going to save you time to, to have data being, be able to speak to other data. Um, I think that EarthCube and knowing a bit about some of the EarthCube funded projects, I think it's going to help change the way we do research across the entire research process. So even after publication, EarthCube has the capacity to change what happens to that post-publication data. You think about projects like GeoDeepDive, right? Making this data discoverable um, even if it's not cited. <laughs> you know, so maybe you have a lousy paper and you and you want it to the data to live on in some way, and I think that that's a really key point. Um, making this data live on well beyond um, your involvement in the sciences, and you know we we really are still at the early stages of EarthCube, and so being a member of EarthCube and being involved in its governance and its committees, uh, it's really a way to affect change in the geosciences. And as an early career researcher, I think that's really important.